to a brand new video. My name is Malus and welcome to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Or if you have never seen my face before, hi, my name is Marloes and welcome to my channel. And for today's video, we are going to test some Japanese candy and snacks. And I picked these items up at the Dutch website mostcutest.nl. This is not sponsored in any way. I paid for this with my own money. And if you're interested in getting your own Japanese snacks and candy, I will leave there a link in the description box down below. And if you're interested, I picked up the Team Snack Bag Chips and Drinks. And I also picked up the Japan Candy Pack Small. And in that way, you just get two surprise packaged. So you do not have to look which candy or snacks you want to pick up yourself, but you just get surprised by whatever items the owners pick for you. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, then don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and click on the little notification bell so you will be updated on every new video I post on this channel. And give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to see what Japanese candy and snacks I got today. And without further ado, let's get into this video. And there is no fun in testing candy and snacks on your own. So therefore, I would like to introduce my little helper, Danny. Wow. Hi. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so Danny is going to help me test out these candies and snacks today because he is always in for a treat and he loves his mm -hmm. food. So therefore, he doesn't mind filming this with me. First, I'm going to show you what I got. These are the two uh, Japanese snacks. They are both potato chips in weird flavors. And they also threw in one of these. And in the Japanese candy pack, you got this a little cute pouch with all different kinds of candies inside of here. So we are just going to test out these snacks and these candies uh, in no particular order. And I think we are going to use this cute mood octopus to show you guys <laughs> if we think the candy or snacks are a yay or a nay. This will be our rate mate. Uh, rate mate, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and this little octopus is also available at the mostcutest.nl website. And it was so adorable, so I also picked that one up with my order. So yeah, let's just start with the first candy. This is the first item that we are going to try. This is what it looks like. And this is supposed to be, I have all the descriptions on my phone. I just looked all the individual items up on the website because we cannot read any Japanese signs, so <laughs> it's, it's nice no. to know what you are going to put in your mouth. So this is the Umaibo Sugar Rask. That sounds nice. And it is supposed to be a sweet kind of chips stick. Never heard of it before, but we are going to try it. It looks like a big Cheeto. Wait, let me just... It's a big Cheeto. Wait, wow. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like a Cheeto. Yeah, it's, it's Cheeto. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, this is the stuff. Yeah, man. Mmm. It it's tastes delicious. a little bit like a Cheeto, but it's, it's sweet. more sweet. But it mm -hmm. also has a little bit of a cheesy flavor. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. It's a very weird experience, but it is a sweet Cheeto, I guess. So, our little rake mates, a yay or a nay? Yay! Yeah, it can stay like this, so this is a big thumbs up. Next up, we have this Pandero brand butter cookie. And 
I think this is just going to be a plain ass cookie. Oh, oh it's already broken. Oh, it was supposed to look like a cute little panda, but it just looks like a regular cookie. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm. Mm. This was the kind of flavor I expected. expected. Yeah. yeah. Super simple, just a normal butter mm -hmm. cookie, but it just looks very cute. Yeah, like it's a always panda. safe. These cookies, yeah. because they're always delicious. Mm -hmm. And it's very small because we already ate it all. So yeah, I think we can still leave our little rate made like this because it's okay. Yes, yeah. it's good. It's good. It's fine. This is our next snack or candy. And this is supposed to be the Bourbon Petit AB Cracker Salt. And I think they are just going to taste a little bit like prawn crackers, mm -hmm. if I'm correct. Because, well, the packaging just really looks like prawn crackers. Like this. These packages are so hard <laughs> to open. God, oh, rip it off! Oh, no. <laughs> Most of the time, they're so small. You are too careful. I know. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, they smell like fish. <laughs> yeah. I think it's bog rip. Ah, oh, this one. Cheers. Meh. Mm. I actually like this. Meh. 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 No. Good luck. Mm. You can eat it whole. Okay, that's nice. It is just a yeah. very thin prawn cracker with a little bit more of a fishy taste, I guess. Yeah, it's salty. It's salt. It's just a very subtle shrimp prawn. Crisp. Yeah. It's, it's very fluffy, very it, light. It's not very special. Very special. So for me, it's a yay. But for Danny, it's no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like something to drink in between as a palate cleanser? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hmm? Here, right? So, we also have two different kinds of Japanese drinks. Which one would you like? I'm really curious about the apple milk. The apple milk, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Uh, the picture on this can... Is really weird. Yeah, it's really worth it. This is... Holy cow. The little drink. And it says that this is the Taiwan apple milk. I've never heard of apple no. milk before. Nope. So we are gonna test it for you guys. Nope. Sweet. It smells a bit like energy drink. Yeah. Not. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> That's not what I expected. <laughs> it's. Ah. Uh, I the know what it is. Color. It almost looks a little bit like Bailey's or something. Yogurt. Yogurt. Yogurt drink, yeah? Bottoms up. Hmm. Whoa, this is so weird. Damn. It's special. But it's not delightful. No, you don't like it? Hmm. Nah, me. Nee. It's almost a little bit like the super cheap uh, grocery store kind of milkshakes that you can buy mm -hmm. and then you have to shake it yourself it does have a little bit of an apple strawberry milkshake kind of vibe but it's super watered down it's, it does not have a very strong no. rich flavor to it but I think it can be very refreshing if you're very thirsty if you're very thirsty, if you're very if there's nothing <laughs> left, yeah? <laughs> if it's the last thing on the planet. Yeah, mm. you can use, yeah. I wouldn't mind drinking the whole can, but I don't think that this is going to be something that I would like to repurchase to drink. So, even though it is drinkable and it's not disgusting, 
I think. Yeah, that's that's the right, right. The place. right side. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, but it looks very cute. The apple milk, but that's it. It's, it's cool. not for us. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. The next thing we are going to try has a very difficult name, and Danny is going to try to pronounce it. Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki potato chips. Yes. Oh, it's cute. Hmm? This is the little packaging, and I have read on the internet. Tear down. Mm. Yeah. Let me see that the okonomiyaki is a Japanese uh, savory pancake. I have not had a okonomiyaki savory pancake before. Th that's not a nice word to say a lot of times, but. I have no idea what I have to expect from this one, but we're gonna see if we like it. Mm -hmm. It smells a little bit sour. <laughs> Cheers! Mm. <laughs> I like it! I like it. It's almost a bit like the sweet and sour of the sour cream. Mm -hmm. But it's a little bit, you can compare it to the sour cream mm -hmm. potato chips that we know, right? Yeah, mm. I like them. Mm -hmm. So For I, now. Mm? I think we have to change this one to this little face. Yay! Next up. <laughs> We have this little cute packaging and supposedly there are three little gummies, chewing gums inside of here. Um, two out of the three are very sweet and taste like grapes, but one is supposed to be extremely sour. If something annoys me in life, it's sour candy. He does not like sour candy. <laughs> sour candy. I like sour candy, so I hope for the video's sake, it would be super fun if you had the sour one. No. But for his sake, I hope that it's me. They look uh, very cute. Oh, they smell very nice. <laughs> you get the first thing. <laughs> Which one would you like? This one is not sour. Mm. It tastes it, like bubble gum. Mm -hmm. It is bubble gum. Mm -hmm. mm. And it is a super soft kind mm. of bubble gum. What? It's a little bit sour. No. Mm. That's just the grape flavor, I guess. But it is super soft texture. Normally, chewing gums are very. What are you doing? I think I had the sour one. <laughs> Do you want me to taste this one to see if it has the same flavor as mine? Yeah. <laughs> mm. I think you had the wrong one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it does have a very nice grape flavor. Ah. <laughs> he survived. Mm. Yeah. The normal ones taste very nice. It's a shame because now you cannot try yeah. the normal one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Well, I give this one a happy face because it's very rich in flavor and it's also a very soft texture. But I think... I give it a sour face. Sour candy. I would like to try something chocolate chocolatey these look like the regular pokey pokey kind of sticks mm -hmm. a topo cacao flavored pretzel stick with chocolate mm. filling <laughs> this one is very promising yeah you like chocolate yes he is a big <laughs> he is a bigger chocolate lover than i am so that says a lot mm -hmm. 
so easy to just keep on eating. It's just a little chocolate wafer with creamy chocolate mm -hmm. filling on the inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Very nice. Would buy again, would eat again. 10 out of 10. Next up, we have another drink, and it is this cute little orange can. Orange chicken? Orange can. But it isn't chicken on the front side, or not? No. What kind of. What is it? This is not a chicken. What, but what is but it? But what it is! <laughs> what yeah! Is it? It's an orange with two eyes and a mouth. <laughs> so, come on! You ah. can't do it! Gather your strength and open that can! Oh, jeez Louise! I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'm very proud of you. Thanks. <gasps> so, Just smells like orange. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Perfectly splendid. Perfectly splendid. But it's not orange juice, it's like Fanta. Fanta without, without the soda bubbles. Uh, bubbles. Yeah. Soda bubbles? Nice. It's just Fanta without the little air bubbles. And it's a little bit less sweet because normally from Fanta or CC you get a lot of slime, slim, slime at the back of your throat and mm -hmm. I don't experience that it's with It's a this. little bit uh, the same as the, the Raak Limonade. Mm. Lemonade. Lemonade. Raak Limonade. Yes. This is, I, I like this better than the apple milk. Yes. And For me it's, it's a happy octopus. Happy octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly there could be a little awa awa little doggy from the neighbors in the background, but I hope that the mic is not picking it up. But he's cute. It could it's be that you one. can hear the dog from the neighbors. We have two things left. We have potato chips and we have chewing gum. So I think it is wise that we do the chips yes. so we can actually keep enjoying the chewing gum if we like it. Mm -hmm. This is the same brand as the hard to pronounce <laughs> <laughs> potato chips name. The Yo Okonomiyaki potato Something chips. Something like that. Yes. Yeah. But this is the seaweed version of the other one. Look, look. Mm -hmm. And yeah. That's the way to do it. So why there is a stroke with tear down? I don't know. Yeah. This just smells like normal natural salt. potato. Yeah, natural. But it does have little seaweed flakes on it. I'm not even sure if you can see it, but cheers. Mm. 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 At the end it has a little hint of seaweed, but it's very subtle. Mm -hmm. I like this one. I see. <laughs> mm. It's just your standard natural sea salted potato chips, but with a little hint of seaweed at the end. So. <clears throat> Give me that! Mm. 
So, what you rated? A happy face. For me too. And you you rated an extremely happy face, but it only has this side or the other side. Do you see this happy face? Happy face. We are already at the final item, candy, snack, whatever you may call it. Mm -hmm. And it is... Bubblegum. Bubblegum. <laughs> Bubblegum. Bubble I also think that this is grape gum. But yeah, it says grape gum. Grape gum. <laughs> it has a bad It's on grape. the package. <laughs> grape. It's, it has a picture of a grape. Grape. So I think it's tall baddie. No. Get out of here. Here. <laughs> Figure it out. Rip it. Rip it open. Up. It's hard to get out of the packaging. Hey. It's kind of long and young. Long and young. <laughs> you are a long and young yourself. It's just a regular kind of. It smells exactly the same like the other candy. I hope it's not so hard. Mm. This one is very hard. Is it bubblegum? Mm -hmm. mm hmm. I guess. I'm not sure. I think it's not. I don't know. Mm. It's stuffy. Yeah? Mm hmm. But this actually has the same flavor of the good version from the bubblegum before. But it's very chewy. Yeah. It's just all stuck on my teeth. At the sometimes my lips. Stuck on my teeth. Yeah. I can help you. Did you already finish it? Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. But it's not a bubblegum, it's a little taffy or whatever you may call it. <coughs> and it creates a lot of saliva. Mm. 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 It's not bad. Mm -mm. It's not bad. Mm -mm. No. It's actually very rich in grape flavor. So, I think we're going to end on a positive note and give this little grape candies mm -hmm. a smiley face. And that was everything that we had to test. What was your favorite candy or snack? Uh, <clears throat> I think the chips, but not the... Uh, the seaweed kind. The seaweed kind, the not, seaweed the, seaweed not the other one. Yeah. I think I really like the seaweed chips and also the little prawn oh. cracker thingies. This thing. Oh, yeah, that, that, <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> perfectly <laughs> smelly. Yeah. yeah, that one was also very good. But overall, I think we were really positive about most mm -hmm. of the candies. There are just a few that had a little bit of a weird taste that we do not know or we just do not like because we're not used to it. But overall, I would really recommend getting this Verity surprise pack because then you can actually try something new that you would normally not mm -hmm. try. And I think they did a go good job. And with all the package, it makes yeah. you very happy. The packaging always yeah. looks very nice and cute, and it just has that normal Japanese kind of style. So they always look very kawaii and cute and all that kind of stuff. So if you're also interested in getting these surprise packs, uh, I will leave the a link of the website down below so you can check it out for yourself. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and click on the little notification bell so you will be updated on every new video I post on this channel. I post new videos every Saturday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!